New at six, the bullets, they're not real, but Marines will go through this simulator that they say that they can help learn and save lives. Despite the drawdown, Camp Pendleton Marines will still deploy to Afghanistan. 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence explains how a high-tech tool prepares for them to go. There's a white man with four passengers on the left. This is not a simulation. It's real video of a real Marine convoy taken last month in Helmand Province. This is not real. It's a convoy simulator. From a nearby control room, the simulation can go from calm to frenetic at the click of a mouse. We're receiving small arms fire. Roger, solid copy. Convoys are a fact of life in Afghanistan. Supplies and more have to be moved base to base, and leaving the wire, as it's called, is where things can go bad. Roger, all big, keep eyes on that vehicle. Again, this is real video from a convoy now deployed in Afghanistan. But because of the simulator... The terrain looks the same. The convoys and the scenarios that they threw at us are real-life scenarios that actually happen here. This simulator first opened in 2008. Since then, as troops return to Camp Pendleton, the scenarios have changed to reflect what they saw while on deployment. They come back and they tell us, hey, this is what it's actually like now, and this is what we're actually facing. So. You know, it helps us uh, upgrade the system and make it better. For example, as the simulated Humvee rolls up to a group of civilians, the civilians begin to scatter. Corporal Seth Baker in the gun crew has seen it before when he was deployed. It's an indicator right there that something's about to happen. And in our simulation, something does happen. The whole idea, of course, is to recognize the possibility beforehand. Even if you're going from if you're going two miles, you need to make sure everybody is ready. As the war in Afghanistan winds down, the next mission for Marines may be a different one. But as always, they'll be ready. Bob Lawrence, 10 News.